idea of avoiding animal products can be traced back to ancient Eastern Mediterranean communities and was a common practice in many religions, such as Buddhism and Hinduism. Although the concept of not eating meat has been around for centuries, the term vegan was officially created in 1944 by a British woodworker named Donald Watson. He decided that since vegetarians ate eggs and dairy, he would make a term for those who don't. The idea of being a vegan became especially popular soon after this in Britain, because tuberculosis had been found in 40% of Britain's dairy cows the year before. This encouraged a multitude of people to become vegan, and the tread spread from there around Europe and eventually reached the United States and other parts of the world. So, before starting this project, I came in thinking that being vegan is kind of weird. I didn't understand why people did it, and I don't know, I don't know where the idea even came from, so it was just odd from the beginning. Before we started this project, I didn't really see any benefits to being vegan, and I thought it would be really expensive to be vegan. Before going into this project, I thought vegans were unhealthy and didn't get a lot of nutrients from their food. What inspired you to become vegan? You know, it was a, uh, it was a series of personal choices over time. I watched a couple uh, documentaries on plant-based diets. I was talking to some family members and uh, some friends who were doing it. And then looked up a little bit of the science and environmental benefits and I was like, hey, might as well go. How long have you been vegan? Uh, about a year and a half now. What struggles, if any, did you face in being vegan? You know, the social aspect of it's pretty hard. Um, finding good places to eat, especially when you're trying to have a quick lunch at school, that's pretty difficult. The stereotypes behind it are a little challenging, but I mean, you just ignore it, you do your own thing. Uh, how does being vegan affect your day-to-day -day life? Pretty much, you know, it's the same as any other diet would. It's a little bit more difficult to plan out my meals and whatnot, but it's just food. <laughs> How does being vegan impact your health? Um, I mean, there are health benefits to it, but considering that I'm just like, you know, a young kid, it's not like anything has really changed. Uh, my energy levels has gone up a little bit. All right. yeah. um, why did you choose to be vegan over vegetarian? Uh, that was more of an ethical choice for me, and just like the environmental impact of it all. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of studies that go into it, but you know, as far as like the dairy industry is concerned, that's the same as, as the cattle and beef industry. So buying products from them still feeds that industry economically, or stuff like that. There's a whole process to it. I see. Right. What is one thing you wish people would know about being vegan? Uh, that it's easier and cheaper than you think especially in the beginning. Just honestly, there's a million YouTubers out there, there's articles, there's meal plans. You just buy ingredients in bulk, none of that fake meat crap. And then, you know, you, you plan your meals out week by week and it's a lot of effort at first, but it's easy and cheap. What is your favorite vegan food? Uh, I like this recipe that I learned the other day. It's, uh, it's like a cashew Alfredo pasta. And you can add some like fake chicken in there if you want. What is people's general reaction to you being vegan? I mean, most people don't care. It's just, you know, it's just a diet. Uh, some of those other people will think about the stereotype of the whole like extremist, environmentalist, tree hugger kind of thing. Um, but I mean, once you talk to someone about it, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. How do you think vegans as a whole are perceived by others? Uh, definitely very like sensitive and reactive. It's probably the stereotype, kind of naturalist. Um, I myself am not necessarily like that. Uh, I've had friends tell me I don't really fit that stereotype, so it's just a diet. You know, shouldn't affect anything else.
me, <laughs> you don't realize how much your life changes or how much your diet is affected. And I think I commend those who stick with it, but I definitely could it. After being vegan for a week, I realized that it's a lot easier to be vegan than one might think, and that there are a lot of vegan options out there, and a lot of people who are vegan. After being vegan for a week, I learned that vegan food is a lot better than I was expecting, and I felt a lot more energized on a vegan diet. Thank you.